Welcome to the first episode of How to Amp. Today, I want to introduce you to a common navigation trick used on the mobile web, but amp style. Screen space is precious on phones, but navigation is also tricky without desktop tools like a keyboard and mouse. A common solution for this is sticky headers and footers. A good sticky header, or footer, will float off the screen when the user scrolls down and float back in when the user scrolls up. And now, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to do this in AMP. On screen, I have my starter code, I have a header, some divs pretending to be content, and a footer. Currently, my header and my footer are not fixed, so I'm going to fix that first. In my header CSS, I'll add position fixed and top zero. Then I'll repeat the same thing on my footer, but change the top to bottom. And there, my header and footer stick when I scroll. But unfortunately, they take up space I could be using for content. The AMP FX collection has a bunch of cool visual effects built into it, and today I'm going to use one. First things first, I need to import the AMP FX script tag into the head of my document. The effect I want to use is float in. And to use it, I need to add the AMP FX attribute to my header and give it a value of float in top. I also need to add it to my footer, but change the value to float in bottom. And now I'm going to try to scroll, but it's not working. And it's also not throwing me an error. I think we need to check out the documentation. Ah, right there, plain as day, it says what CSS properties are needed for the effect to work. I'm missing overflow hidden on my header and footer. And the documentation tells me the effect will not be applied if any of these are not set. Well, it's a good thing I looked. All right, no worries. I'll add the property to both the header and footer styling. And that's it. Our header and footer float away when we scroll down and float back in when we scroll up. Navigational nightmares solved. I really hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. If you have ideas for future episodes, drop suggestions in the comments below.